Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Mob Psycho Season 2, Episode 5. So, we have a carryover episode for the first time this season. Uh, we met a former psychic called Keiji Mogami, who ended up absorbing spirits and then either killed himself or died, however, and ended up becoming a very powerful spirit himself. He's possessing this rich guy's daughter, and we're here trying to save her, but... Mob possessed the astral, projected himself out, possessed the body, and KG was ready for it and ended up throwing him in what I imagine is going to be like a hallucinant, like a fake world in which he doesn't have his powers and see what he'd be like. So I'm really excited to see this. I was, I was really hyped for, uh, for this because I'm really curious what. Honestly, I'm really curious what the writers think that Mob's life would be like without powers. Like, I had a couple ideas. One of them was that it's going to be, like, almost exactly the same. And that's how he's going to snap out of it, is he realizes that, like, he'd be the same either way. But, I don't know, maybe he'll be, like, more popular or whatever and, and like more outgoing because of, of like not having the powers but either way guys i'm too excited so let's get started and see what happens shall we all right we're gonna start here in five four three two one now ah <clears throat> so she's gonna be part of this world, I guess. Assuming that's what I'm looking at anyway. Hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Discord choices. There are a lot of choices of discords. Huh. <laughs> Uh Hmm So he's still not very popular. Jeez. The teacher hit him? Oh, okay. This bully again, but no one there to help him. I feel like the brother would still help him even if he didn't have powers, right? Interesting. Oh, a stranger, so it's not his brother? Hmm. <clears throat> J. 
Jeez. Is this a way to show, like, negative emotions being powerful or something? <clears throat> <laughs> Hasn't even been 30 minutes, Jesus. Hmm. Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> I gotta say... I feel like that's, like, one of the most driving motivations of bad guys in anime is, like, my mom was sick and I needed money. I feel like I've seen that, like, so many times recently. Okay, so he did kill himself. Come on, mom. Those guys in the background. Jesus. Oh, okay, that's right. The door was, like, latched shut or whatever, and they couldn't get out. That's right. My bad. Took me a second. I thought someone was breaking in, and I was like, ooh, who is it? Is it, a?" Uh... The other kid. Is he gonna go in? Yeah. Oh, shit. White tea poison. Uh. 
Oh. I guess he did it. Oh. Spiked his power. Nice. Come on, mob. Jeez. These are terrible people, but I mean, they're also imaginary too, right? I don't know. <laughs> well, he doesn't know. Shock therapy. Had to use all of it that he stocked up. Oh my god, the blood. <laughs> Things are coming back. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the blood is gone. They've sprouted a flower. <laughs> <laughs> it's like All Might. Plus Ultra. Mmm. Ah, yes. Yes. Oh. 99%. Let's go, baby. Uh, the whole world collapsing into power. Jeez. 
<laughs> yep. Jeez. Come on, Mom. What a crazy being. Ugh. Ugh, he like deep throated his arm. Hmm. Ooh. Hearing a little bit of... Yep. Nice. That's the other girl, right? A hundred percent! Asagiri. Oh, this track. Nice. Jeez. Did he make that crater? <laughs> oh, look at the pretty eyes. Hmm. He just threw him. Jeez. It's cool being able to see, like, a battle on this scale without actually having, like, the consequences of destroying a city, you know? Damn. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, damn. Well, that's not good. <laughs> His animation was crazy. Damn. Just obliterating everything. <laughs> Catch me if you can, you bastards. All right. Yo, is he missing an arm in this world? I mean, obviously not for real, but... Seems like he is. Damn. Oh, it's back.
What a crazy fight. Nice. Ugh, gross. Jesus. It's just a hellscape now. I don't even know what's happening. It's just a bunch of glowy colors. Uh oh. Oh, the question mark, question mark percents. Oh shit. What is this? Hmm. We haven't seen this in a while. Oh. Oh, you're going to capture him. Shit. Well, damn, he just captured a powerful spirit. Although, did he lose a bunch of his power? He might have, like, lost a bunch of power when all those, like, souls left him. Hmm. Jeez. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. All right. He lived. I thought he was dead. <laughs> oh, the cult. <laughs> oh, they're going to get do a donation, aren't they? An anonymous donation. Jeez. Was that 500 million? I mean, I know that's probably yen, which isn't as much, but 500 million is, yen is still a lot of money. Bob Donalds. Saw that in season one as well. <clears throat> he still has uses for him. Oh, is this preview? I think.
think. Okay, yeah, next time. Alrighty, guys, that is it for episode five. That was crazy. Um, I will say, I feel like I'm a little bit disappointed um, with the parallel world, mainly because I thought it was going to be a parallel world where, like, this is what your life would be like if you just minus the powers, and it's kind of like one of those things where you see, like, the the butterfly effect of what his powers did for him removed kind of thing, if that makes sense. And we would have seen, like, it would have been his same life with, like, just the, the change of, like, no powers. Like, for instance, uh, I guess, like, the biggest example I can give is that it seems like uh, Rico wasn't his brother um, in this world that was generated, but... Mob's powers shouldn't have any effect on, like, whether or not he had a brother or not, I feel like. I mean, unless somehow Mob had his powers when he was a baby, and there was something about the fact that him having the powers that made it so the parents wanted to have another kid, and then there was something about not having the powers that made them not want to have another kid kind of thing. But, I don't know. I mean... Butterfly Effect can do some crazy stuff, so maybe you could say that is a thing. But what I thought it was going to be is I thought it was going to be, you know, this... I don't know. I guess I just thought it was going to be something different than it was. What it really felt like was more of a manipulation, which, I mean, it makes sense that he's the one that is making this world. So it makes sense that he would manipulate it, you know? But I was hoping he'd prove a point by showing us something that like a real situation that could have happened. And obviously Mob being that bullied is a situation that could have happened. You know, it definitely could have. But it really did just feel like Mogami was, you know, really just trying to instill the idea that like people are shit in Mob's mind and get him to harness negative emotions rather than showing him something that like was really a possibility. And maybe that's just my bias because... I thought this was going to be a little bit different, and I was really excited for it. And I still enjoyed what I saw. Like, I, I don't think it was at all a bad episode or anything, you know? It was just different from from what I thought. But the fight was crazy. I, I didn't really know what was happening half the time. It was just, like, really shiny blasts and blowing things apart. And, I mean, I understood, I understood like, what was happening, you know? Like, the these souls that are these evil spirits that he absorbed are like being released, you know, and, and mob was fighting him. And then before that he was fighting Mogami himself and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, the, uh, so I understand that, but you know, like sometimes when animation is like going crazy, I don't know, like, like that one point where, the the thing was like blowing fire everywhere and it like engulfed mob but then there was like a glowing light that kind of looked like mob's magic and then like everything kind of exploded and then it was like i think it was the question mark question mark question mark percent thing right after that um and then we saw it and it seemed i'm guessing it just obliterated everything and then we just cut right back but like that that whole sequence of seeing that thing like blowing the fire and everything i like had a hard time telling what the hell was going on because it was just, I mean, it looked really cool and the animation was pretty great throughout the episode, but, but yeah, there was just some parts where I was just like, what, what is happening, you know? Um, but, but yeah, other than the fight though, we had, uh, kind of some more context as to Mogami and why he went south. His, his mother was sick and, uh, he had to kill for money to get enough money to try to save her. She died anyway, and that's why he turned the way he did. Um, so, it's, uh, as I said during the episode, I feel like I've heard that in a lot of bad guys. You know, like that same backstory of like, oh, my mother was sick, so I needed money. And not just anime, it's not just anime. Like, live action does it all the time, too. I'm trying to think, there was another show that I watched really recently, and maybe that's why I'm feeling this way where there was a character that was, like, doing bad stuff because they were trying to get money for their parent, uh, who was sick. Oh, it's on, like, the tip of my tongue as to, as to what it was. I have, like, a hair on my nose or one of my facial hairs that's, like, curled up or something, just tickling the shit out of my nose today. Um, but, but yeah, 
I, I can't think of what show it was, but it was something I've watched very, very recently that had, like, that that same thing where a character was, like, doing bad shit because they were trying to... Oh! That's what it was. It was a uh, a Lucifer episode that I've watched just recently. I'm, I'm watching, uh... Well, I guess it'll probably be started... Lucifer's another Patreon show kind of like this one that I'm, that I'm doing at the same time as this, and it was actually... I actually think it was last episode that I watched just last week that uh, had a character whose mom was sick and she ended up, like, doing some bad shit even though she was a good person, you know, uh, initially. Um, but, but yeah. So I feel like that's just, like, a, a very normal thing to, to happen. Like, a very regular story, cliche kind of thing, you know? But, but yeah, and then he hung himself and became a became an evil spirit and uh mob was apparently stuck in that world for six months i imagine i imagine he still remembers what he experienced there so he was stuck doing that you know for six months with these like bullies and everything that sucks man uh i hate i hate bullying too which is why like i wish i saw something different because i hate seeing bullying like it made this one a little bit easier because it's a fake world, but the idea that Mob was still stuck in this fake world experiencing that without, like... It's not like he had the context of being like, okay, it's a fake world, I can get through this, you know? He didn't have any of his memories. He didn't know of the other world. He thought this was just the world, you know? So he still suffered through it thinking this is just his life for six months, you know? Which, uh... Which really sucks, but... But yeah, I was never, never like bullies. Not that anyone does, you know. I doubt there's anyone that watched that and they're like, oh, those those people are clever, you know. I, I like their style, you know, pouring milk on him and telling him he smells. Great. But uh, that friggin' response when, uh, what's her name, Minori, got, like, free of everything and he's like, are you always like that? And she's like, yeah, I am. <laughs> and then she apologized after, but before she apologized, I just wrote down, like, always a bitch, <laughs> is what I wrote down. So that's just, that's a, I guess that's an accurate representation of what she's normally like, is she just bullies the shit out of people. So, I mean, you know, probably still worth saving because she's still just a, a kid that doesn't know better and she seemed very apologetic here so hopefully she will change and as mob said you know people can change so but but yeah anyway great episode didn't exactly go the way i thought it was gonna go i thought we were gonna have like a whole episode of uh or at least most of an episode of just like experiencing what mob is like see i guess that's what I thought was going to be different. I thought Mob was going to be... I thought Mob himself was going to be a bit different rather than the people around him being different, you know? And I think that might be, like, the real distinction between, like, why I didn't expect the episode to go this way, you know? To I think that's a good way of putting it, but... But, yeah. Anyways... I think that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you're not already on there. This was a Patreon exclusive, which means that you can see the whole rest of this show on my Patreon and whatever has replaced it. So check that out if you're interested. Link in the description, or it should be popping up on the screen. And I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.